Growing up on a small farm, I love the fact that we had the space for a large veggie patch. I used to grow up uh, in my teenage years growing vegetables and had mild success at growing vegetables and being able to eat those vegetables. But for some reason, since I've lived in Chatswood, I've had just much more failure than success. I've done all the things I used to do in preparing the soil and watering and fertilizing, but nothing happens. It's not that the plants died, it's just that they didn't grow much. They didn't really grow much at all and they certainly didn't really produce vegetables. You see, growth is a normal expectation of life. We expect, I expect the plants to grow, I expect animals to grow, I expect people to grow. When we know something is wrong, when growth is not happening. Growth is a normal part of the Christian life too. The Apostle Peter urges us in 2 Peter chapter 3, verse 18, to grow in the grace and the knowledge of our Lord and Saviour Jesus Christ. Paul also says in Ephesians chapter 4, verse 15, that by speaking the truth in love, we will in all things grow up into Him who is the head, that is Christ. When you search the New Testament, you discover that spiritual growth is something that you pursue. It's something that you work hard for. Spiritual growth is very different than physical growth. We just grow physically without giving it any thought until you just stop. Uh, I reached my current shoe size when I was 15 years of age. That's a few years ago now. And then my feet just stopped growing. And at the time, and to this day, until I wrote this script, I really didn't think about that at all. But spiritual growth doesn't just happen. Spiritual growth happens through intentional, appropriate effort. Intentional because it requires diligent pursuit and appropriate because we must use God's tools for growth. And so as we launched Follow 25 last term, we saw some of the tools that God gifts us with for growth in faith in Him the Bible, prayer, the Holy Spirit, and other believers on the journey with us. Our major objective for the next five years is to see 65% of St. Paul's identifying much growth in faith through this church. My prayer for each of us this year is that we pursue growth in faith in Jesus Christ and will be able to identify that growth rather than just maybe assuming that we've grown or hoping that we've grown, but being able to identify that, yes, I've grown. A key starting point for all of us is a private devotional life of communing with God in the Bible and prayer. And to do this four or more times a week. So how are you? Are you now doing four or more times a week? based on the back of our vision series? Are you doing more now than before the vision series? Have you asked someone to keep checking in on you with that? Or do you need to cut back on your social media or your TV or whatever it is that's a roadblock and to take a further step? Do you need resources? Do you need help? What is your next step to pursue growth and faith in Jesus Christ.